everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this easy children's crochet hat, which is this little hat that you see here in front of you. It is a ribbed hat, which I love because it means it has quite a bit of stretch. This is a very flexible pattern. Uh, it comes in six different sizes and it also has a turn up brim. The brim is not fixed, so you can either use it as a slouch or you can turn it up and make it into more of a beanie style. Uh, it also means that it's going to fit a variety of size, uh, of head sizes. So as I mentioned, this pattern includes six different variations. It includes your uh, preemie size all the way up to a child size. Okay, and if you take a look at the written pattern that's found on my blog for free at richtexturescrochet.com or here you can just see it in the screen of the video, the sizes are there. Now this is the measurements for the hat laid flat. Again, there is quite a bit of stretch to this hat, uh, so it is going to get the circumference a lot larger than it is when it's laid flat and just relaxed. You can also uh, add a pom-pom to the top if you choose or you can leave the top of the hat just as it is. It's really up to you. As far as the materials are concerned, you're going to need a little bit of worsted weight yarn. I'm using a 100% wool by Sugarbush Yarns. It's called Bold. Uh, and it is a bit thinner on the worsted weight size. So if you're looking for something to substitute, you're going to want to go with a maybe a lighter worsted weight yarn, okay? Your, for your smallest preemie size, uh, you're only going to need about 100 yards, uh, maybe even less for that smallest size. So if you're using the Bold by Sugarbush Yarns for the sizes preemie to 24 months, you're only going to need the one skein. When you go up into the child size, you're going to need two skeins. Each of these skeins has 190 yards in it, okay? So for your smaller sizes, your preemie and your zero to three months, you're going to need about 90 to 100 yards for your uh, three to six months, you're going to need about 100 for your 6 to 12, maybe 120, maybe 130 yards. Uh, 12 to 24, you'll need about 160 yards. And then your child size, you're going to need about 210 yards of yarn. Uh, of course, your pom-pom is going to be added to the top, and uh, that might affect whether you're using a handmade one or a faux fur, it might affect the amount of yarn that you're going to need overall, so take it into consideration. I am also going to be using a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook, and you're going to need a yarn needle for weaving in uh, your ends and sewing the top of your hat closed. So thank you so much for joining me here today, and uh, while you're here, I invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, without further ado, we will uh, get to working on our easy children's hat pattern. So today for our tutorial, I'm going to be working on the zero to three month size hat. So this is your uh, newborn size hat. And uh, we're going to start this hat differently than maybe you've seen other hat patterns done. I like to start my hat and work my hat from a magic circle. So what you're going, or a magic ring. There's lots of different ways to making your magic ring. You can take a look at countless videos uh, here on YouTube on how to do it. But what I like to do is I just like to take my yarn, I have the long working end here, my tail here. I simply take it, I cross it over like I would be making my slip knot. And I simply just bring the working yarn up. So this is what I have for my magic ring. I'll then insert, holding it here between my thumb and my middle finger. I'm going to hold it together. I'm going to insert my hook into that loop and I'm going to draw up my, uh, my working yarn here. 
Okay, so that's all I do for my magic ring. Again, there are lots of different ways to doing it. Then I like to keep it here on my ring finger. Uh, that way it just kind of keeps it straight and me from losing it. Once you have your magic ring done there, you're then going to start by chaining 31 uh, for that zero to three month size. For your preemie size, you're going to chain 26. Your three to six month size, you will chain 36. Your six to 12 month size, you're going to chain 41. Your 12 to 24 month size, you will chain 46. And your child size, you will chain 51. So today I'm working on the zero to three month size. I'm going to start by chaining 31 chains. This is what it's going to look like once you have your chain, you have your magic ring down here on this side, and your hook is up here. You're then going to, once you have your foundation chain, you're going to single crochet into your second chain from hook and in each stitch all the way across. If you have worked the adult size of this beanie, which can also be found, the Easy Winter Beanie, on my YouTube channel, it's the adult size, um, you will have worked half double crochet stitches. But for the children's size, we're going to work single crochet stitches. So into your second chain from hook, you're going to insert your hook and work a single crochet stitch. You're then going to single crochet all the way across to your magic ring. So for my size, zero to three months, I'm going to have a total of 30 single crochet stitches. At the end of row one, you will have now worked back up to your magic ring. When you come to your magic ring, you are going to slip stitch into the center of that ring, chain one, and turn your work. At the end of each of the odd number rows, you are going to repeat that. You're going to slip stitch into that magic ring. You're going to chain one and turn. That way, at the end of the pattern, all you have to do to close is simply pull your magic ring closed or tight and then sew that small opening. I'll show you that when we come to our end. So you've now slip stitched into your magic ring and you've chained one. So you are going to see two little V's here, but these first two V's are not stitches. You're not going to work into the slip stitch or into your chain one. So for row two, you are going to work in the back loop only, and you're going to single crochet into each single crochet stitch. So working in your back loop only, skip your chain one, skip that slip stitch, and into that first single crochet stitch, work a single crochet. Uh, and sorry, I'll back up to find your back loop only. You see your V, the top of your stitch here. That back loop is the, the horizontal bar that is farthest away from you. So you're going to insert your hook under that one only. So in the back loop only, working in the single crochet stitches only, work one single crochet stitch. You're going to do that all the way across. So back loop only, single crochet in each single crochet stitch. Do that all the way across. At the end of row two, you're going to chain one and turn your work. Remember, your chain one does not count as a stitch. 
For row three, you're going to work it in the back loop only, and you're going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So continue working in the back loop only. What this is doing is that it's giving you that ribbed look that you can see in the hat. At the end of row three, you're going to return to your magic ring. Once again, you're going to slip stitch into the center of that ring, chain one, and turn your work. Now for the rest of the pattern, you are simply going to repeat your row two and three. So working in the back loop only, skip your chain one, skip your slip stitch, single crochet in, in the back loop only, in each single crochet all the way across, chain one, turn your work, single crochet in the back loop only, in each single crochet all the way across, back to your magic ring, where you slip stitch, chain one, and turn. So that's uh, all there is to work in the body of the hat. You're going to continue to work your rows and you're going to see that they're going to form around your magic ring so you're going to continue working your rows until it reaches that your desired width uh, the desired inches across so for your preemie size it's going to measure from start to finish approximately 10 inches 0 to 3 months it will be 11 inches 3 to 6 months it will be 12 6 to 12 months will be 13 inches and 12 to 24 months it will be 14 inches and for your child size it will be 15 inches in width. So once your hat is at the desired width meet me back here and I will show you how to finish off this uh, children's hat. So once you have worked the ribbing to the desired size, uh, so I am working the zero to three month size, so I'm, I've worked mine to 11 inches, you're going to have something that looks like this. Up here is your magic ring, and you can see that it's worked around it, and then it fans out to the bottom here down below. What you're going to want to do now is you're going to want to put your two long sides together because we're now going to crochet uh, the side of this hat together. So I'm just going to put my hook back on here and I have one more stitch. It's up to you whether or not you want to fasten off and then rejoin. Uh, I am just going to simply chain one and I'm going to turn my hat. I'm then going to be working through both thicknesses and into the back loop only on both sides. So here's the back loop only of my first stitch over on this side. And I'm going to bring my yarn around here. Over on this side, my first stitch is not my chain one, but it's this one right here, and there's my back loop. So working through both thicknesses, the back loop only, I am going to work a slip stitch. So work through both thicknesses and you can do this fairly tight. You're going to continue that down the length of your hat, the height of your hat, I guess. Okay, so work in the back loop only through both thicknesses, slip stitch in each stitch all the way across. Now once you come to the end of your row, if you ended at the magic ring, you're going to fasten off by slip stitching into that and then fastening, up, fastening off, or if it was at the other end, you're just going to fasten off as you normally would. You're then going to turn your hat right side out and you can weave in your ends. and. But before I do that, I'm just going to show you how to close the top. So if you take a look at your hat, you're going to have something that looks like this. You'll have a little hole there. What you're going to do is you're going to pull that thread 
from the magic ring tight okay now I had a little bit left from my closing there so I'm actually going to use that but if you don't have any yarn left from when you crocheted the sides of your hat together you're going to need a little bit more yarn first off you're going to secure your magic ring so to secure mine I simply weave through the top of the hat a little bit like so and then I'm going to go back a little bit like that weave it in a little bit more and then I'm going to tuck it into the inside and then actually to sew the top top of my hat closed I'm going to turn my hat inside out again pull that through there we go so I can now fasten off that shorter tail from my magic ring but I now want to sew the top of my hat completely closed so here I'm going to trim off that one end and then I'm going to take this long tail that I have left or if you don't have a long tail left it's just simply use another piece of yarn and then to close my top closed because it's such a small opening I just do a quick um, stitch I don't know what this stitch would be called <laughs> but I am just simply going through both sides and pulling it tight I then want to make sure it is secure so I am going to go through and kind of make a little bit of a knot I'm going to go back through so that I can Clip it off. It makes it really easy for sewing the top closed, doing that magic ring. Then I'm going to turn my hat back right side out. The top is now closed nicely. I can fold up my brim. And then if you wish, you can add a pom pom to the top or you can leave it as is but that is your easy children's hat so thank you once again for joining me and i hope to see you again soon don't forget to subscribe and until next time happy crocheting bye